Sounds so good. Um, it's because years ago I found this really great cologne. I was in Palm Springs with some friends, and I went into this Italian clothing store, and they had this cologne called uh, Tino Cosma. Now Tino Cosma is an Italian designer, and he designs all kinds of you know clothing and stuff. But here was a cologne that he had released. Well, I didn't know who he was, but I'm like, well, my grandma Mignana. Italian grandma, straight from the old country, gave me a bottle of something called Notte Roma, Night in Rome, right? When I was like 19. And you couldn't buy it anywhere here. It was from Italy. So it was my own, you know what I mean? It was my own private scent. I thought, I, I'm gonna, no one else will smell like me. This is awesome. So I, I used it and I loved it and then I ran out. And I contacted people in Italy, trying to find more Nota Roma, never could. So when I was in Palm Springs a few years ago, and I found this Tino Cosmo, I'm like, this is really nice, and I bought it. When it was going away, I started looking in the department stores. I looked everywhere, couldn't find it. So you know what I did? I went online, and I found Tino Cosmo online, the designer, like somebody who reps him in New York City, and I wrote them, and I said, I want some of the cologne. And so I bought it directly from them for a couple of years. And still, it was obviously is very uh, rare because you couldn't find it in any stores anywhere. Well then, I went to contact them one day, and they weren't making it. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> I've fallen in love with another cologne that was just mine, and, and now I'm not going to be able to get it anymore. So I had my friend start scouring eBay and looking online for where she could get it. And <laughs> you guys are going to think I'm such a jerk, such a weirdo. Um, anytime she would find any online, I'd be like, buy it, buy it. Last week, she found some guy that was selling a case of like 15 bottles. And she's like, dude, it's like $500. Buy it! Because <laughs> it's expensive stuff. It's like 60 bucks for one of this. So I bought it because I thought, well, now you know, I'll have a good supply of it to last me for a long time. So see, you had no idea that it was going to be such a long answer. Well, so, I'm such a creepy fangirl. And my mom no, was like, I'm going to go in and ask him. And I was so embarrassed, so I figured I'd ask him. No, not at all. It's not creepy at all. I mean, if you smell good, I'd be like, ooh, wow, you smell great. I tell people that all the time. They probably think I'm creepy, but um, but no. I, I, and, and like I said, I mean, a lot of people have said that, so it's a good question. Give me a chance to tell you my weird, obsessed story with how I bought these bottles. Question. Yeah. 